Hello and welcome to lesson number nine. And in this lesson, we're going to go over networking and error messages. So for networking, uh, uh, Apple introduced a new um, generic type, the result type. And uh, now when you do your URL session, you can, with the method that you do in your URL session, you can provide in your escaping closure result type and uh, provide the success case and the failure case, which is really, really convenient. And for those of you who remember how to do networking in the old school, new way is definitely, definitely beneficial. And we're going to go over this stuff today and like you're gonna see how easy it is to just um, provide success and fairly a case and handle them right then and there so like really really cool stuff so let's talk about error messages for a little bit so when it comes to error messages you have two choices either to present the error messages that are coming from the server and you can provide a error message localized description. However, it may not be always helpful. So that's why many companies go with custom error. So user can understand easily what is going wrong and what they need to modify or what they need to do differently. Either it is isn't correct login or maybe data is not available or maybe network is, um, is not strong enough. Um, those error messages, many companies like they decide to uh, provide more simplified, uh, more simplified way to provide those error messages. So let's jump into our Xcode and start coding. So uh, let's first modify this and uh, uh, refactor, and we're gonna say rename result and we're gonna name it as results and our file so in the previous video I created a file and I forgot to name it sorry my mistake results so let's run it make sure that um, make sure that we are okay and nothing is broken so it looks right so let's create a folder or a space and we're going to keep there uh, our error message and we're going to call it utilities. So go to file and new group and let's call it utilities. Utilities, I hope I spell it right. So and let's create a new file. And we call it error message. Error message. So, uh, how to create your custom error message? You can either provide a failure in your um, error case and provide a string, but in this case, we're gonna do better and we're gonna create enumeration. And num, and we're gonna call it error error message error message and it's going to conform to a string and an error so uh, I'm going to provide for this tutorial just two um, uh, two cases case um, uh, in ballot data and I'm going to provide a value and it's gonna say I'm sorry some I'm sorry something went wrong try again case invalid response
case invalid in response. Um, server error, error. Um, and uh, we might provide um, um, please uh, by your search and try again. So just in case user like type something incorrectly that for some reason causes our response code be not 200 and let's say like 400 or what have you we're gonna handle it we're gonna, we're gonna handle it too so um, yeah and that looks okay to me and uh, let me build one more time to make sure that everything is working correctly and it is so now let's do fun stuff let's do networking Uh, services. I'm gonna call my folder services and we're going to create a new file and it's gonna be just a Swift file service. So uh, when uh, we create a network layer or our service in some companies they call it managers, network manager, uh, some companies in my company we call it like service like app services services general services what like what it depends what kind of services we implement what kind of network layer we implement so for a uh, network uh, layer um, many companies go with singleton what is a singleton singleton is uh, like basically um, can be uh, instantiated once in your app and you don't have to create any variable anything like that you can call directly singleton in your classes or structs for example url session that shared url session is a singleton or dispatch queue that main it's a singleton so pretty much when you see a keyword main or share meaning it's probably a singleton. So let's create our class. Service and create a variable share and it, and it will be a service. So uh, whenever we're gonna call our um, method on this class we're going to do it through share service share get results and our first function get get results so and uh, our function is going to take uh, three parameters uh, description city and completion handler and the completion handler is going to be a closure and it's going to be escaping closure and in that escaping closure we're going to use result generic type where we in case of the success we're going to um, decode our results and in case of failure we're going to provide error message so description and it's a type of string um, location and its type of string and uh, escaping oh and uh, yeah I uh, complete it and it's uh, and it's escaping closure so um, So this is pretty much a closure that you can execute on your function whenever you need to. And we're going to use result. It's a generic type. And you need a square 
brackets like that and in case of our success we're going to provide the, uh, an array of our results and in case of failure it's going to be error message it's going to be error message okay that looks pretty good so far so let's create uh, our URL let's provide URL string and our URL string will come from our postman like right here and I will share uh, the I will share the URL in the description below or in the article if you're watching it on LinkedIn so the information is going to be there and I'm also going to share the code source so don't worry if you miss anything you don't have to pause the video and type it out you can go to the code source and copy it from there so don't worry about it so um, and if we look at our URL string we have description and for description we have software plus developer so the parameters that our URL that our endpoint is taking to perform search whenever user types a uh, space it has to we have to replace that space with a plus sign and the same for a location the same for the city San Francisco these are two words and in case of two words we have to uh, replace the empty space this um, with a plus sign how do we do that so let's use string interpolation so for that we're going to use string interpolation and we're gonna say description replace a current replace occurrences of empty space or a space to or with plus sign the same thing we're gonna do for our location for for our location we're also gonna do string interpo interpolation and we're gonna say location replace replace occurrences off and empty space with a plus sign so and we're going to listen to what user types in here and uh, let's say so software develop developer whenever a user types uh, empty space or like a space here we're going to replace it with a plus sign so and now let's create our URL guard URL equals URL and we're going to build our URL from string URL string and whenever you have guard you have to provide else condition and here which is gonna return so uh, let's create our task which is URL session data task uh, what I why you uh gartlet yeah gartlet oh okay so let's create our task let task equals uh, URL session share da data task uh, please use uh, complete uh, like uh, I want to complete and uh, you have parameters like URL and if you double tap here we're going to uh, we have like data response and error and here we're going to handle each 
and every parameter of uh, our our function here. So if let and I'm going I'm not going to instantiate like error. Um, Uh, and uh, I'm going to use uh, complete it failure invalid data. Uh, next, we're going to do uh, we're going to handle our response. We need to make sure that the response is correct. Gar let Response equals uh, response as HTTP URL response response uh, status code equals two hundred else and for else we're going to use our complete completion handler and uh, we're going to use our failure and for error message um, we're going to handle invalid response and return we also have to return from here because we don't want user to get stuck in a uh, in an error um, condition. So uh, we handle our response and now um, let's handle our data. Gar, gar let data equals data else uh, complete it failure and invalid data. So once we handle our error, uh, and yes, we need to return. Once we handle our error, our response, and our data, now we can create, uh, we, we can actually start decoding and uh, um, fetch our results. So, uh, and to fetch and to handle our results, we're going to do do catch block. So, do and here we're going to put catch. So, whenever error occurs, uh, we're going to say complete and failure invalid data and uh, for our decoding, we're going to say let decoder equals uh, JSON decoder. And remember when we uh, did our results, uh, we replace snake case with a camel case. And now, because our uh, members of our structs are not exactly the same, the name not exactly the same as uh, um, the keys of the JSON file, now we need to handle it here and say a decoder decoder um, key decoding strategy uh, convert from snake case and it's gonna be okay and everything and everything is going to ha uh, and everything is, uh, is going to be just fine so now let's create a variable uh, results equals and now we, st will we, will we start decoding try uh, decoder decode 
So here we provide an array of the result of the results and we have to say self and from data. So very important when you work with uh, your decoder uh, and when you decode uh, data it's really important to pay attention how your data is uh, 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 present uh, is presented by JSON so in our case it is just one big array of data and that's why we need to uh, provide an array because if we choose decode as a result our decoder won't understand it and we won't be able to decode nicely so now complete complete it and success results so one last thing that we have to do um, we have to say task task resume otherwise our code won't compile uh, otherwise our task won't be will never be executed let's build our uh, app and see if everything works correctly if we have any warnings like everything looks good so now let's test out our network layer and if it works correctly or not so we're gonna go to our main view controller and we're going to test it right here in view to load we're going to refactor it later and uh, actually work with the our network layer whenever we perform search but it's going to be an, uh, another video for another time we're not going to go over right now right now which is covering our network layer so service that share not share oh you know what I'm sorry guys I made a mistake uh, your share has to be static so you can call it and call that variable on the class itself very very important so uh, let me save that main view controller and uh, shared get results and uh, for our description we're going to say software developer software developer and some from Francisco and San Francisco so for this uh, we go here I'm going to just say result and uh, because we have two cases success and the failure we can do switch operation and switch uh, and um, depending what we present we're going to present either an error message or a our uh, our collection our array of the results switch result case success let results and here we're gonna say per uh, print result print results and 
in case. Um, failure. Let error. We're going to say print error. I need to put like comma here. So guys, I think I know what the problem is. Okay, now it should compile. So you have to do like a colon here when you do switch statements. All right, so um, let's build our app and see what happens. And now, if we look here, uh, you see the uh, an array of our results. And in the later videos, I'm going to show you how to use this network layer to display this result in your collection view controller um, and display the data beautifully. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.